hey guys, coming at you here with another review. This is the uh, GSI Backpacker Mug. Full name is in the description, or it'll pop up somewhere because it's kind of long. But you know what it is, because you found it. And uh, well, you know, we've had a couple of cups over the years. And this cup actually is, I think, my most favorite so far. Uh, or my favorite so far because of, um, or specifically for just outdoors, backpacking, road trip, uh, any type of thing where you're out outside of the house, basically. I'm gonna even take it to college, to work, whatever. It's just really nice um, and it's really light and it's really functional. I like the, all the features that they've put into it. They've put a lot of thought into this mug. It's only 10 bucks. Links will be in the description to buy it on Amazon if you're interested. So I think it's very well priced and uh, it's just a really good cup. So I'll go over the features of it real quick and then uh, you know talk a little bit more about the functionality. So uh, it's made out of plastic. It has this nice little cozy nylon. Um, and then it has a lid, of course, that comes off. Nice O-ring here, rubber O-ring around that. And then uh, it has a little uh, vent hole and a, a sipping hole there. And that locks down. It fits really well. And uh, yeah, that's basically the nuts and bolts of it. Um, I like the little hole on the bottom here. That allows the cup to go in there easily and have the air come out so it's not hard to put it in. It just falls right in. It has a nice handle here. So, you know, if you're heading outside, you want to make tea, anything like that, it's just a perfect little cup to hold it. Keeps you warm. Nice feel there. You can put the whole hand in there and hold it in there. I usually find myself doing something more like this. Uh, but I guess if you're, you know, moving around a little bit more quick, you'd want to use that. But um, this is just a little bit more comfortable for me. Uh, I like the fact that you can take it apart. You could just, if you're using a dishwasher, you could wash this in a dishwasher. You don't have to get this wet. Um, you can kind of always keep this off, off on the side when you're cleaning it. Uh, it's, you know, very functional in terms of just the way the handle works and also this little lid. It has a nice rubber uh, stopper there and for the sippy hole, whatever you want to call that, and a nice O-ring like I showed you around the perimeter of the lid. So when you lock this down, it's actually very nice and sealed. Um, so like we have one here with a little bit of tea in it. So I'm going to close that one up. Make sure the lid's closed and we'll tip it. And it won't leak. Now, it won't leak, guys. This is important. If you have a somewhat of a cooled liquid in there. If you have something that's steaming, pressure builds up and it's just going to pop this open and it'll start to leak. So, you know, people, just be careful, okay? Another thing I wanted to mention is when you do pull this back and you... You, you can put that in there like that and that prevents it from falling out so it doesn't hit your face um, when it's there. Um, there we go. So another thing is um, that all the construction on here, on this thing specifically, is really nice. This thing, you know, is just molded real quick uh, and the O-ring is just fitted on there. It looks like a really nice good O-ring. I don't think it's going to fail anytime soon. I've been using it for a while. It's still good. But this thing is constructed really well. So let me just go through it real quick for you. This strap here is really nice. It's kind of a doubled up strap. Uh, has a nice logo there. Uh, st it's stitched really well. Stitched down here. Um, just really well built. And this allows you to really pack it down because you can see that just goes flat. And, uh, and then on the bottom here you have a little kind of a rubbery grippy grip type of thing that allows you to put it on a you know inclined surface on a maybe your the hood of your car or whatever on a rock and it won't slide down so that's nice i like that and then the stitching here for just for, for the effect i like the the design here where it's kind of split into three it's really nicely made guys i really like it um the one complaint i think i have only so far that i can think of is that it doesn't have markings i think it's a really easy thing to put in to have some markings you know maybe a cups markings or whatever or ounces that would be really nice to have um but they don't have that on there it does say here, down here it's dishwasher safe uh, and do not microwave it i'm not sure why you wouldn't microwave this but that's what it says maybe you don't have to do we want to do it with this i don't know and on the inside here it all looks really nice it's just really well built um and this this bit here is stitched down you can see where there's a there's a there's stitching around not, not the actual uh, rubber but the bottom of it is stitched on there so stitching is good glue is not as good so i like the stitching um so like i said the compacting bit of this you know for backpacking especially it's really nice you can put it in i want to mention this other cup from gsi this is one of their steel 
outside backpacker mugs. It'll also be available down there. But I like the fact that this actually fits in there perfectly. I don't know if they had that in mind when they were designing that to have that fit in there. Because uh, this right here is a really nice system if you're, you know, you need a pot to actually boil water on a fire or on a stove and then you can put it in there. That's really nice. I like that. And it fits just perfectly in there. I, I think they might have designed that on purpose, but I don't know. Um, another thing I want to mention is, you know, besides just using this as a mug to drink coffee or tea, you can actually make your oatmeal or cook something in here, like, the, you know, with hot water. Um, and it would, it'll stay warm and nice and cozy for you. So really nice mug. I really like it. And it's only, you know, it's under 10 bucks. So links are available in the description. Now, before I forget, I must uh, measure it and weigh it for you guys like I always do. So let's just get a nice little measurement on this thing. Let's see, from the highest point here, I guess that'll be from the lid there. Down, that's four and a half. Well, it's about nine sixteenths, four and nine sixteenths down to the bottom. Uh, and the handle uh, stretched out like that. It's about three and a, three and three eighths inches. The lid. I guess I'll give you the outer diameter is about three and three and five eighths, and then the inner diameter here is three and a quarter exactly. And, uh, well, I guess that doesn't matter because I can just tell you the volume, this thing holds exactly 17 ounces down up to the brim. So if you're going to actually fill it, you know, realistically, you're going to have a couple ounces less, but basically about two cups in here. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, weight, let's get the weight. We got the scale, like always. 3.7 ounces. There we go. So very light, very nice. I like the weight, I like the usability, functionality. So there we go, guys. I hope that helps you make a choice on your uh, next cup or your first cup, whatever. Really nice for backpacking, anything outside of the house. I recommend it. So um, yeah, give me a thumbs up on the video. Questions, comments down below if you have any anything to say. And check the channel out and uh, look at our other videos. We've got a lot of reviews, a lot of cool outdoor little activities and videos and such things. So. Thank you for watching, and as always, praise God for everything he's done for us. This has been Eugene with Review Outdoor Gear, and I hope to see you in another video coming up.